Now for those who are new to the stock market, let me just tell you a little known fact. The stock market can crash, plummet, burn, basically at any point in time. Let me just take you through a little bit of history. We'll go back about 15 years. Now, as you can see, for a good 5 years, everything was looking good. Stocks were increasing, people were making money, and basically everyone was happy. Until it came to the month of October. Stocks just started to crash out of nowhere. There was too much debt in the system, too much money borrowed for houses, and it was game over. Things started to tumble and very few guessed it. Most thought things would keep just going up. I'll even give you another example. We'll go back a further 10 years from that period of time. Before the year 2000, it was a great bull market. You had all of these new technologies and internet companies coming up into the setup, and people were ecstatic about this, paying really high prices for stocks. It didn't last long though because stock prices pretty much halved in just two years. It crashed from 2200 to just above 1100. Now, why have I brought all of this up? Well, because some say we are in a similar situation to that in which we were in before. We're currently in a bull market cycle that has lasted 10 years. We've got a lot of debt in the US system, people are quite exuberant about stocks, and we're at all-time highs. The truth of the matter is that it could crash at any point in time, and that's just me being honest. So what I wanted to do in this video was show you my stock market crash protection strategy and what I am doing to counteract a stock market crash. So there's a few things that I'm doing with my portfolio, with my assets and with my net worth that make sure that if the stock market does crash that I will not be as badly affected as most people. Actually in fact I'll be very happy because I can buy stocks when they're cheap. Now one of the things that I actually have at the moment is a lot of cash on the sidelines. Uh, it's about 10% of my entire portfolio. Now when I say cash, I don't mean cash as in something that I've stashed underneath my bed or cash that is in a bank account not earning interest. No, of course I'm talking about cash that is earning interest. Cash that is not just going to sit there getting eat up by inflation, but actually earn interest. Now essentially when it comes to the cash side of your portfolio, there are two ways you can go about this. The first thing that you can have your cash in is a high interest savings account. I mean here are a couple of examples that you can look deeper into if you wanted to find a high yield savings account that suits you. I mean a lot of the big banks will give you a solid rate of return. Uh, don't get me wrong, historically these are not high rates, but compared to the rates that you can get in today's market in the USA, they are good. Uh, you got a lot of the bigger banks in here. You've got Goldman Sachs, HSBC, American Express, Barclays. So look deeper into some of these options if you do want to do the same as me and have your cash in a high yield interest savings. Or you can follow what Warren Buffett puts his cash in, which is a treasury bill. Uh, the three month treasury bill is currently yielding 2.36% which is just a bit higher than what you're going to get at those high yield interest savings accounts. Uh, I just do the savings accounts because it's easier for me. Now essentially what my strategy is when I see stocks start to crash, crashing by a lot, then I start to see lower prices on stocks, which everyone knows a lower price means a higher expected return. That's just obvious maths. Uh, that is when I'll start allocating more of my cash position into stocks. Uh, people will be panicking with their stocks, seeing it all go down in price. What cash will be doing, it will still be earning interest, making money, and that is the perfect time to buy in when people are very fearful. Now obviously you're never going to exactly time the bottom of the market, but that is why you slowly allocate more towards stocks as they go down in price. Moving on to my next strategy to protect myself in a market crash, and that is gold. Now I did own some gold stocks half a year ago, unfortunately I did have to sell it off, but now I'm going to be buying back into gold as a portfolio hedge. So let me just show you why gold is a good asset to own. Uh, with regards to your portfolio to protect yourself in a stock market crash. Why is it a hedge against a stock market crash? 
First, let's take a look at what the price of gold did in the last stock market crash. Okay, so the last stock market crash occurred from October 2007 to March 2009, lasting almost one year and a half. Over that time, the stock market dropped over 50%, but the question is, what happened to the price of gold during that time? So, October 2007, gold had a price of $922. If we fast forward to March 2009, gold had a price of $1,078. So, while everything else was crashing, gold actually increased in value during that time. And in the year or two after the stock market crash, gold just shot up like a rocket and increased to over $2,000. And the reason that gold often increases in bad stock market conditions is because investors are looking for safety. They don't trust the stock market anymore and they want a safe symbol of value. And gold is known as a money safe haven to put your assets. Uh, gold's history goes right back to ancient times and as we evolved our currency systems, it was made the currency of choice for many countries. It's still considered a symbol of safety to this day and just like in the last stock market crash, people rush to the symbol of safety when things become unstable. Now, I just want to tell you quickly about a strategy used by one of the best investors in the world, a guy called Ray Dalio, and one of the things that he does to protect himself. I'll show you what he does, and then I'll show you what I do a little differently. So what Ray, Ray Dalio does is he has 40% of his portfolio in long-term bonds and 15% in intermediate bonds. Uh, bonds are safer to hold than stocks because they give you a yield that if the company ever goes under, the bondholder still gets paid above the stockholder. The safest type of bonds that you can own is a treasury bond because it comes from the US government that can just print more money to pay you back. But I personally prefer a slightly different way of protecting my portfolio in a stock market crash. I do not like owning bonds and, and the strategy that I prefer to owning bonds is owning dividend aristocrats. Dividend aristocrats are simply stocks that have increased their dividend payments for more than 25 years in a row. So the dividend payments that they pay out are very safe. Uh, if we take a look at this dividend aristocrat graph, we can see that dividend aristocrats outperform the stock market in general throughout history, and more relevant to this video, they do very well compared to the stock market in recession periods. I mean, as you can see, in 1990, it beat the stock market by 8.8%. In 2000, in 2001, and 2002, it beat the stock market by 19.2%, 22.7%, and 12.2% respectively. And in the 2008 recession, it beat the stock market by 15.1%. So those are some reasons why I like dividend aristocrats, but also because they're very easy to understand. And what I mean by this is that you want their price to go down, because the lower the price on the stock, the higher the dividend yield that you can get. That way it always encourages you to buy more, no matter what the stock market condition that we are in. So it, it encourages good investing behavior. I mean, here is a list of companies that are dividend aristocrats, and basically what you wanna do with these is scroll through them, try find companies that you understand, find ones with strong business models, find ones with higher yields and good management, and then see if they suit your stock portfolio. But it is important that you invest in the right types of businesses slash stocks, which is what I teach in the How to Invest course. We teach you know how to find strong business models, uh, what ratios to look for, and how to calculate the value of the stock. And yeah, it's only going for $49 at the moment, so get in quick. Anyway, I'll leave a link to both the How to Invest course and a link to where you can find all of these dividend aristocrats in the description section of the video. And if you can employ these three strategies, what you're gonna find is that you'll do better than most when it comes to a stock market crash. Because let's be honest, it will come. The question is, when will it come? Anyway guys, I hope you get a ton of value from this video. I personally enjoyed making it. Uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll catch you in my next video, which uh, I will either be looking deeper into Facebook stock or something else. So I'll see you in that video guys. Thanks for watching.